I remember when I was taking the LSAT, they said that they do average the scores. So that's not a thing. They, t they take your highest score that you get. Yeah, so there's a lot of confusion around this, and it's, it's, it's frustrating for everybody. Back in 2006, the American Bar Association changed its policy. It used to be that it required law schools to submit the average score, the average of multiple scores for their matriculating students. That changed in 2006, though. Now, going forward, they only consider the highest. That's all they have to submit to the American Bar Association, and that's all that gets calculated in the U.S. news rankings, which are what everybody cares about, right? So it's important to realize that there might be some outdated information on law school websites or law schools want to give the appearance of being holistic. They may be think that it sounds nicer. A lot of times they'll use this vague kind of weaselly language that they consider multiple scores. But what does it really mean to consider multiple scores? How does that factor into the calculations they make where they take your LSAT score, your GPA, they have what's called an admissions index where they kind of run them through a formula to dictate whether they accept you or not. And of course, there are many other factors too, like personal statement, letters of rec, et cetera, but the numbers are typically the biggest factor there. Right. Um, yeah, because they had told us like not to, to be overly confident while going into our first LSAT because it essentially, if you didn't perform as well on the first one, then if you continue to take it, that it looks poorly on you. So you're saying that that's not true at all. That's not really true. I mean, of course, I wouldn't recommend taking it cold for real on test day and then say, okay, well, just to see how I'll do. And then of course, maybe you get a low score, which is natural because you haven't studied it yet. So a mm -hmm. low score followed by a much higher score is not as good as just having the higher score alone, for sure. Right. It's never great to have a low score on your record if you can avoid it. But even if you did, it wouldn't really be that big a deal. Because mm -hmm. again, what's their, what are their incentives? Law school admission officers are largely driven by increasing their school's ranking. And they do that by admitting, admitting students with the highest possible GPAs and LSAT scores. And so I think you really do have to look at their incentives here. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.